Well, when we first brought you our investigation into Qantas' unfair credit scheme, we hoped it would serve as some sort of wake-up call for the airline, but it appears not. That's absolute nonsense. The boss of Qantas, Alan Joyce. You get the exact same of what you paid for. Seemingly telling his own customers they've got it wrong. Disgusting. Disgusting. You know, we're getting kicked in the guts. It's not right. It is un-Australian. Last month, the current affair exposed our national carrier's flight credit guarantee. Customers were fuming, claiming they'd been duped. It's not honest, and it's not Australian not to be honest. It looks like price, price gouging, and I hope it's not. There's evidence from emails, screenshots, video recordings. Customers claim it all points to one thing, price gouging. And I've always flown with them. I'll never do it again. You'll never fly with them again? No. No. Not after this. After our story, more angry Qantas flyers like Sharon Lane came forward claiming they too had been fooled. I cancelled it because of COVID. And they said you could? Yes. Yes. And gave me a credit for 596, which was the amount that I paid for that ticket at that time. And you were thinking dollar for dollar, everything's sweet? Yes. And I was told to ring instead of doing it online. This mother of two says when she rebooked, the cost of her flights from Sydney to Melbourne were jacked up because she was purchasing with credit. And she said to me that I had to pay an additional 200. I said, why? And she said that was the cost of the flights now. Only they were actually cheaper for new travellers. I paid $801 return from Sydney to Melbourne for two. Sydney to Melbourne? Yes. $801. $801. You're flying business class, aren't you? No, I'm in the middle of the plane. My colleague at work can get on, got on the Qantas flight for the same dates and the same time that I'm flying and he can get them for $100. I bet he didn't book with credit, did he? <laughs> no, he certainly didn't. But do we give you what you've uh, cancelled in equivalent value? Absolutely. The CEO explains it like this. It's, it's like that you've bought uh, a, a certain bottle of wine and then it's figuring out later you want a different bottle of wine. We're saying you've got that credit for that bottle of wine. That's what you're allowed to use it for. You're not allowed to use it for something else. Only Sharon wanted the same bottle of wine, Alan. And by now, she says your mob owes her more than a drink. The disrespect that, that they have shown. That's, I think what they're doing is daylight robbery. John Hunter got stranded in Darwin on a medical emergency and he too cancelled his Qantas flight for credit on the promise he could get same for same. Based on uh, what Qantas has on their website with their uh, cancellation change, no additional fees and charges, I thought I'd be fine to ca uh, cancel that flight and, and take up a flight credit uh, at a later date. John says he initially paid $1,300 and found a flight on the same route for the same price, but... They give you a booking code, um, essentially manage your booking code, and uh, you've got to go in a, through a different uh, route of their website to use that. You put those details in and then you search for your flight. That's when I found out that the flight had increased by over $800. The flight was now $2,100. It needs to be called out. John had this message for the boss of the flying kangaroo. Cancel flight and rebook it through the, the process you make as you use. You'll find out for yourself. Are you jacking up prices for people rebooking with credit? We're absolutely not. But we've got, we've got proof of that. We've provided you proof of that. What's happened, and essentially it's airline economics. Qantas put up its head of corporate affairs, Andrew McGuinness, to explain. I think everyone understands that over the last six months, the price of things has gone up significantly. Look at fuel price alone. So it's not surprising that there's upward pressure on airfares and that people are paying more than they might have straight out of a pandemic. But the amount of flexibility we've given to people, we do think we've been fair on this, to be, to be perfectly candid. Uh, and we have millions of people who do feel that way. Why not just put a big black box, black and white writing, if you rebook with credit? you could be charged more. I think we do make that quite clear. We can point to a, a large number of statements we've made. A fair difference may apply. We're, we're really clear about that. Really clear? Very clear. 
this is a complicated issue uh, and we're trying to help people navigate through it. $800 for two people from Sydney to Melbourne, you've got to be kidding. The ACCC has finally listened to your complaints and is now investigating. As for Qantas, well, it's refusing to budge. You can read the company's full statement on our homepage.